What's going on guys? Today I'm gonna make a video. Uh, I'm gonna change, I have an eight horsepower uh, four stroke Yamaha. And I've done some research and I kinda wanted to have a little more speed than what I imagined I was gonna have before buying the motor. Um, I used to have a six horsepower on it and it would only take me about like nine miles per hour, maybe 10. And so I upgraded to an eight horsepower, which is basically a lighter, you know, kind of smaller version, less powerful version than a 9.9. .9. So, but I realized I'm only going like two miles per hour more than the six horsepower. So it's not much of a difference in power and speed. Um, advice that I got was to change the carburetor to a nine, 9.9 .9 horsepower engine carburetor right which i bought online and um so today i'll just be doing a quick little video on how i did this just in case anybody else wants to do the same thing um this is the carb and the difference is okay here there's no restrictor on the gas right and over here there is I don't know if you guys see it, but this is the restrictor right here, All right? So when you give it gas, it stops once it reaches. So when you give it gas, right, it's, it's stopping it from giving it more gas and taking in more air, right? So what I'm going to do is instead of cutting this restrictor off, right, I'm going to just install the 9.9 .9 carb, which also has uh, a bigger air intake. Okay, so it, it takes in more air, which feeds more fuel. So it should have a little more power. Um, when you get the gas here, let me see. Uh, when you accelerate here, look how much it's hard to do with one hand. But it basically this opens up a lot more and takes in more fuel so we should see a power difference we should see a, a speed difference and an iguana is trying to kill me but nonetheless oh yeah that's a big boy iguana nonetheless we'll get to the video and i'll do uh i kind of just try and record the whole process here in case anybody wants to Look into doing this for their motor. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these. It's just like a nervous feeling doing this. <laughs> Should I be doing this? Should I not? No, you're not always 100% sure if this is a good idea. I don't really like messing with motors. I'm not a mechanic by any means. So. Attach the, attach the, coat, the choke. Back end. 
I'm gonna remove this. Set it aside right here. It's the air guide. Now we have a gas, and we should have a gas line connected to the back here somewhere. Okay, maybe instead of doing this, we put it in. Flip it around. We should be all right with the screwdriver. And there you go. This is a super, super easy um, detachment of this carb. Really easy to detach. Um, nothing crazy hard about it. Nothing super complicated. Um, but this is it. Put this bad boy right here. Let's connect this gas line. this back here this goes back in here feel like the torque and before just revving it it would get me like to a certain rev and then it would keep me there I can feel it I'm almost scared of how how much rpm it's gonna add to the motor I don't know if that's terrible for the motor or not but Pretty solid. Alright guys, it's only right. Little Bud Light with a maiden voyage with the new carburetor and the new and the with the new 9.9 .9 carburetor on the 8 horsepower Yamaha. I'm about to see what the speed difference is. Hey Blinky! <laughs> Yo, you guys go follow Abe Lincoln's YouTube and Instagram, please. Honest Abe Fishing. I'm telling you, nothing but honesty and fish. <laughs>